Good day. We will now solve another problem for vector addition using the cosine law and sine law method. The given for this problem is we will add vector b to c. Okay, so let's write the given. The first thing we have to do is for, we have to draw our vector. So, this is now my R. Okay. So, based on the rule, I will be, okay. So, I will now find my vector R in Newton and the angle in polar coordinate. Later on, I will use polar coordinate. So, it means I need the angle from positive X, which is this positive X going to my vector R. Okay. So, that will be my theta. We will now find the given. So, here I have vector B, which is 57.3 Newton. Vector C, 17.8 Newton. So, we're looking for R. Okay. Then, alpha, beta, and gamma. Okay, so if we will review again, so to find the magnitude, uh, we will use cosine law method to find R. So that is B squared plus C squared minus 2 B C cosine gamma square root of that. So it means I have to know the given B, C, and gamma let's analyze again our triangle to find gamma so this is by inspection again so here if this is our r where is the opposite of r okay so c this is the opposite of c so this is beta and for our vector b it will be alpha so and for our r it's still gamma okay so that one Okay, so we will find gamma in this case. This one is straight downward. The south is straight downward. So, if I will cut this one, okay, so it means the gamma is 90 plus this. Okay, so that is this one, a little bit of this one, the green one. Okay, so that is the gamma is 90 since this is a right triangle plus this one okay but we know if i will make a triangle okay so we know this is a right triangle this is 36 so therefore that will be since this is a triangle so 90 36 so what will be this side so that is 90 minus 36 this is 54 okay so, if that is 54, definitely this is also 36. And based on, if you are familiar with another rule of this, so another way, if this is 36, this is also 36. So, therefore, based on this, okay, based on this inspection, we can assume that gamma is so again i said that is 90 so 90 degrees plus 36 degrees so gamma is 126 degrees so i hope you see that again so since this is the whole of this is gamma and we know if we will make a triangle this is 90 
plus this angle, so 90 plus 36 is equal to 106. Okay, so let's see. So let's substitute the given now for RR. So that will be square root of vector B is 57.3 Newton squared. So for now, I will not write for now the unit. So plus 17.8 squared. But definitely you have to write your unit next time. So that is 57.3 squared a Newton squared plus 17.8 Newton squared minus 257.3 Newton times 17.8 Newton cosine 126. So if I will substitute, so the answer of that RR is 69.275, so that is 28 Newton. So that is RR. So let's check again for our answer using our graphical method. If that is 69.28 Newton, RR would be 6.928 cm or roughly 7. Okay, so let's measure. Okay. So, if you will look on my ruler, so that is 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 cm. So, I assume my answer is correct because my ruler measured this as 7 cm. So, that is six seven almost 70 newton. Let's proceed now for the direction. So, for direction, I will go into find theta. If I will solve theta, so that is from the angle from positive x, 36 and beta. Okay, so that will be, so from positive x to negative x, so that is 180. So that is 180 degrees plus this one, 36 plus beta. Okay. So, that is how to solve my angle. Now, we will find again what is beta. Since we know what is R, so that is 69.28 Newton. And we're looking for beta, so we will have R and C beta. Okay, so that will be our solution. C vector over sine beta. So, that is the opposite of C is equal to R over sine gamma. And then again, so that is sine beta is equal to C sine gamma over R. And beta, so that will be arc sine. So, arc sine C sine gamma over R. So let's substitute. So that will be arc sine. So what is C is 17.8 Newton sine 126 degrees divided by 69.28 Newton. Cancel the Newton. So the beta now is so 11.9969 degrees or roughly this is 12 degrees. Okay. So here if we will now substitute. So 180 plus 36 that is 216 degrees plus what we have solved in beta which is 12 degrees. So that is our theta now. Okay, so the value of now our theta is 228 degrees. Okay, so let's see. Let's measure if this is our this answer is correct. Okay, 
So we will go back again to our graphical method and we will measure if that is correct. I will follow this one. So this is my positive x counterclockwise. So that is 180. And this is my r. So if you will look on the bottom scale, so this is the scale. So this is 230. And my red arrow or my red, the red one, the red vector is before 230. So I assume that is 228. So it means our answer now is correct and we check that using our graphical method. So I will write now the final answer here. 69.28 Newton, 228 degrees.